this, when we next graze this, it'll we've got a late lambing mob. It's not a hell of a lot of numbers, a couple of hundred, and we'll probably lamb them down here with with access to a feeder and 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 hay. Um, and I guess depending on on the, the seasonal conditions, it'll couple of hundred it'll probably yeah it'll keep them going for most of the lambing and and a bit more um, and how the stock when you've had them in perform in terms of uh, weight gain or maintenance yeah they've, they've maintained their condition I think a lot of the research says that um, they won't um, a lot of them don't gain weight but saltbush will maintain their condition uh, that's probably why they've always you know got a bale of hay or, or straw or something like that um, and obviously I don't think you'd, you'd be able to um, fatten stock down here but if it just tied you over till um, till the break of the season or, or whatever at least you're uh, utilizing a portion of your, your farm that probably wouldn't get used otherwise if it wasn't Sowing down to uh, to a fodder crop like like uh, this old man saltbush. And have you seen an improvement in the site itself since you put down the saltbush? Like in terms of trafficability, like we're able to get around this pretty easily, in, admittedly in a dry year, um, compared to when you started with the after the barley crops. Um, yeah, it's probably not as not as sodden, but yeah, that's probably seasonal again, but. Yeah, it was always uh, very sticky down here. Um, so whether the obviously the the the, uh, the trees are actually taking up a lot of that moisture. You know, there other areas of the farm that you've got that you put into salt bush, or is this pretty much the main area that's affected? Uh, this was the first area, and we've got other salt scolds um, over the gully there. And there's another area of probably 12 hectares that was done in second year after this uh, that was already fenced it was probably a 27 hectare paddock once again the part that was affected more by salt we we put into alleys and I've, I've chopped the other bit off and that's currently still grows barley so if if need be you know you can you can run that cereal next to the Next to the salt bush and, and utilise that for a bit of roughage. Yeah, so run them as a side by side grazing option. Yep, and um, we're fortunate enough to have scheme water down here because obviously there's no um, water's an issue otherwise. So we've got we've got um, a water point in in each of the three sites, and I I guess when the last site's done, there'll be. What would it be? Uh, 20, 50, probably 75 hectares, of which half would be the salt bush and half would grow cereals.